the Object 416 was a Soviet experimental self-propelled anti-ray vehicle designed in the early 1950s. Its unique characteristics, innovative yet flawed design, and ultimate rejection offer insights into the Soviet Union's approach to tank and assault gun development during the Cold War. Though it never progressed beyond the prototype stage, its design philosophy influenced subsequent military vehicle developments and highlights the challenges of integrating novel ideas into practical military applications. Development of the Object 416 began in 1950 at the Kharkov Construction Bureau of Factory No. 75. Initially conceived as a medium tank, it was reclassified as an assault gun and tank destroyer in 1951 to align with evolving Soviet military doctrines. A prototype was constructed in 1951 and the design was finalized in 1953 after resolving issues with its unconventional turret. The Object 416 was an exceptionally lightweight and low-profile vehicle, standing only 182.3 cm high and weighing just 24 tons. These companies provided a reduced visual and radar signature, aligning with its intended role as a stealthy tank destroyer. The turret was positioned at the rear of the hull and housed on four crew members, including the driver. This configuration maximized protection for the crew by leveraging the frontal armor of the turret and reducing exposure during operations. The driver was seated in the front right section of the turret. An innovative system allowed the driver seat to rotate with the turret enabling them to maintain forward orientation. However, this also limited to traverse to 70 degrees left and right while on the move. The Object 416 was equipped with a 100mm M63 cannon, a derivative of the D-10T gun used on the T-54 tank. The M63 offers excellent ballistic performance, capable of penetrating 108mm of armor at 3000m. A quad-buffer muzzle brake and bore evacuator were included to mitigate recoil and vent fumes efficiently. Powered by a 400 horsepower flat V12 engine, the Object 416 offered reasonable mobility for its class. The engine was mounted in the front, an uncommon feature for Soviet tanks of the era. The vehicle's welded hull and cast turret offered moderate protection. The front turret armor was 110mm and the hull's maximum armor thickness was 75mm, sufficient against light anti-tank weapons, but inadequate against contemporary heavy tanks. The Object 416 underwent state testing in 1952, but was ultimately not adopted for production. Several critical issues emerged during trials. While the turret was technically capable of 360-degree rotation, practical constraints reduced this to a 140 degree during movement, severely limiting its ability to engage targets dynamically. The crime combat compartment and low profile met operating the vehicle arduous, particularly for the driver, who was responsible for both vehicle control and the operation of the coaxial machine gun. Problems with control drives rotating contact devices, and other mechanical components undermined the vehicle's operational reliability. The Object 416 
was deemed redundant compared to existing systems like the SU-100P, which offer similar or superior performance. As a result, further development and mass production were considered impractical. Comparison with regional competitors The SU-100P, a contemporary Soviet self-propelled gun, overshadowed the Object 416 in several areas. It features superior mobility, a simpler design, and better integration with existing doctrines. The U.S. Army's M56 Scorpion was another large self-propelled gun of the era. Unlike the Object 416, the M56 prioritized air transportability and simplicity, trading armor protection for strategic mobility. The French AMX-13 light tank, with its oscillating turret and autoloader, share a similar lightweight philosophy. However, the AMX-13 proved far more successful due to its versatility and adoption by numerous countries. The British FV-4401 was a prototype similar in concept to the Object 416, emphasizing low profile and stealth. However, it too faced challenges in transitioning from prototype to production. While the Object 416 was never adopted, its innovative design provided valuable lessons for future Soviet tank development. The low profile and rear mounted turret influenced later vehicles emphasizing reduced visibility and improved crew protection. The issues with turret traversal and crew ergonomics highlighted the importance of balancing elevation with practically. The Object 416 underscored the need for mobility and adaptability in tank destroyer designs, influencing the development of more versatile platforms like the BMP-1. The Object 416 remains an integral example of mid-20th century experimental military engineering. Its compact design, innovative turret, and powerful armament were ahead of their time, but technical and practical challenges prevented it from entering service. Despite its failure, the lessons learned from the Object 416 contributed to advancements in tank and self-propelled gun development, reinforcing the importance of balancing ambition with operational flexibility.